Okie dokie. Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about breathing, particularly as it pertains to Taiji, Taiji Tran and what's going on with our breath and what are we trying to do with it? So the at, at the most fundamental level, breathing is pretty simple. It's something that you've been doing a long time and uh, doesn't require a whole lot of conscious thought to keep it going. And um, breathing is a very binary process. You're either inhaling, you're exhaling. And uh, then you can also add in the holding of the breath. So that's, that's I guess that's another, another step there. But uh, uh, the effect that, that this has on you is, um, is, is important to look at. And um, even though it's happening at a pre-conscious level, that is, it's not doesn't necessarily involve your conscious mind to make this happen, uh, it's something that your conscious mind can get involved in and you can control your breath. You can start change and stop your breath. And admittedly, you want to, you know, the for how long and and when is that's going to vary from individual to individual, but the uh, that capacity is there in, in all of us. In fact, it's it's one of the most fundamental things that humans can do to to use the mind to control the body. Every three year old throwing a tantrum has that you know has that capacity to to stop breathing for a finite period of time and it's something that we can cultivate and develop as we you know as we get to a more refined uh, relationship with the body so um i mean recently i don't know if you people have seen uh, the avatar the way of water there's a uh, uh, Kate Winslet did something really remarkable there and that she she was doing it shooting an underwater scene and required her to hold her breath it was for seven minutes and 15 seconds which is you know phenomenal I'm sure before she decided to shoot that that film before she signed on for that she had never done it longer than a minute but it was you know the uh, there there she was she's able to do it for you know seven minutes and 15 seconds and also not just sitting in a in a uh, in a stationary position she's moving around so the um, we have a an ability to to exert conscious control over the breath that is far exceeds what most of us consider to be a comfortable and be possible and uh so we kind of oh and what that does requires, you know, what you're talking about, you know, it requires a conscious override of the, of the, that, that fear response that says, I must breathe now. And uh, you, you, your conscious mind, your will says, no, we're, we're cool. We're going to go a little longer here. I know this is uncomfortable body, but we're going to keep going. And, and as we do that, we start to change our concept of what else is possible. So we have this, uh, this relationship to breath, which is, like I say, it's, it's happening at that pre-conscious level, even while you're asleep, but you have the capacity to, to change its pattern to control it in order to create certain effects. And at the really the simplest level, when you inhale, you're not only are you creating an opportunity for your body to get more oxygen, which then goes to your all the little cells and, and makes them happy and productive. And when you exhale, you get rid of carbon dioxide and waste products, and uh, that makes the cells very happy too. But uh, something happens with your autonomic nervous system, which is, I think, really important with regard to uh, to Tai Chi. And that is, 
Whenever you inhale, you activate the sympathetic nervous system. And that's the, that's the young part of the, the nervous, the autonomic nervous system. It's the part that says, do. And it's, it's, it, it spurs us to activity and it, amongst other things, but it's, uh, it, it's what is activated whenever we are doing anything. The sympathetic nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system is the being side. So we got the doing and we got the being side, which is your, yeah, they, they call the parasympathetic, the rest and digest part. It's basically, it's where, where you are in, you are just moving into a state of non-doing, a, a wu-wei condition where you're, you're just being. And the, the, uh, the sympathetic nervous is more of a wei wu-wei kind of thing where you're do and, and do based in not doing. So there's that, that nice, easy, uh, relationship between the two. We get this pulse of yin and yang with each breath. Now, what happens in most of our, our conscious activities is we are stressing the do-do-do part much more than the BBB part. So it, we tend to over-accentuate the sympathetic nervous system, which then causes whatever goes tips over the over the line, then it creates this kind of stress response and, and we start getting antsy and then it has a, a negative effect uh, on, on the body mind. It causes, it triggers sort of a fight, flight, freeze response sometimes and it creates all kinds of hormonal imbalances and things like that. So the ideal situation in Tai Chi is get that nice, easy seesaw effect between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic where each is given its due and the correct breathing it depends on what it is you want to accomplish with your breath so if you are looking to as uh, for some medicine to calm your stuff down then you want to kind of tip it in the direction of the parasympathetic. And so then your little more emphasis is on the exhale, a little more mental focus is on the exhale. And so then that actually allows things to calm down quite a bit. And if you want to activate, you want to get yourself more excited, you, you, you know, there's more of a, a focus on the inhale. So we can uh, play with that for a moment here, just take a take a moment and um, um, we're just going to focus on the inhale. So I'd like to inhale for a count of three and then hold your breath for a count of three and just feel the effect that that has on the sympathetic nervous system. Feel the 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 yang energy that gets generated by that, that inhale. So just, uh, just breathe through your nose and hold. And exhale. And let's do that again. And as you, as you inhale, just notice the effects it's having on your body. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. So notice that there, there is an effect there that you, you get from, from that, that it has a tendency to charge up the system. It creates a young, expansive kind of, kind of quality, which is cool. And, uh, and it's half of the half the equation. The other side, the parasympathetic on the exhale. So we're going to focus on the exhale part for a count of three and then hold for a count of three and just feel into that. And 
Exhale. Hold. And inhale. And exhale. Hold. And inhale. So notice a different effect. There's a, we're moving more toward passivity whenever we're focusing on the parasympathetic. It's more toward just, just into a state of being rather than a doing. So if you're, if you're ready, you know, put me in coach, you know, there's a, you know, you're, you're, you're breathing. There's a, there's an intense kind of conscious focus, young breathing that, that gets you psyched up to, to go in. If you're looking to, uh, I'm going to sleep tonight and I want to relax. Then you focus more on that, on the exhale. And you can even, just hold a little longer and just kind of allow yourself to, it calms down the whole system. It reduces your heart rate and everything just kind of gets very quiet. So one of the things that I like to do and, and I do many times a day is, is a little breathing exercise to balance these, these two out. And that is to breathe for an in inhale for a count of three, hold for a count of three, exhale for a count of three, hold for a count of three, repeat. And uh, do that for like 10 breaths and just watch the effect that that has on your nervous system whenever you're, you're doing that. So let's just do that right now. Just um, And I'm not going to talk a lot through it. Use, use your own pace in terms of counting, but uh, we'll just go through like 10 breaths and just see what that, see what that feels like.
Okay. So naturally you can make the counts as long as you like. It don't have to be for one second. They can be, you know, your, your one, two, threes can last any, any length of time you want. The key is that you're, you're creating a, a, a balance in the yin and the yang in your autonomic nervous system, which once you have your center line, then you can say, okay, I want more yang or I want more yin. And you, you get, by regulating your breath, you can change that energy. 